Hello! In this video, we will be discussing an application of stars of bars, and in particular, we will be solving for the number of solutions to the integer equation with parity restrictions. When we say parity restrictions, we mean the oddness or evenness of the values involved. If you haven't watched it, I highly suggest that you first watch our previous video on the introduction to stars and bars, where we introduce how we get the number of solutions to integer equations in the form x sub 1 plus x sub 2 until x sub n is equal to r, the answer of which involves some combinations. In this video, we will be solving this problem. How many ordered tuples of positive integers b, v, w, x, y, and z are there such that v plus w plus x plus y plus z is equal to 26 and 4 of them are odd? This problem is lifted from the All-Star Math Quiz hosted by Regis Math Corner. Regis Math Corner is a Facebook page with, which hosts math quizzes online and hosts as well some tutorials. So if you're looking for uh, some great math content, I highly recommend that you follow their page. Going back to the problem, we cannot use stars and bars for this problem uh, straightforwardly because we do not meet the condition of getting the non-negative integer solutions. In fact, we're looking for only positive integer solutions and four of the solutions to be odd. So for this problem, we will use some techniques. So first, without loss of generality, let the four odd integers be v, w, x, y, and x. So meaning z is not part of the odd set. Then, we use a substitution v is equal to 2v prime plus 1, w is equal to 2w prime plus 1, and so on. Using this substitution, we are essentially forcing all of the variables v to y to be odd integers. And also, by letting uh, this substitution v prime and until y prime are allowed to be 0 which is good because it now fits the definition or the condition for stars and bars. Now, if four of them are odd and the sum of the five integers is even, it means that the last, that the last term must be even as well. Meaning, if the missing uh, element is z, then z is equal to, then z is equal to an odd number. And we let z is equal to 2z prime plus 2, which is almost similar to what we used for the initial substitution. So again, for this substitution, z prime is allowed to be 0. If z prime is equal to 0, then z is equal to 2, which is okay. We cannot just use z is equal to 2z prime because if z prime is equal to 0, then z is equal to 0. Then now it, not, it doesn't fit again. The condition for the stars and bars. Thus, we have the equation 2v prime plus 1 plus 2w prime plus 1 and so on until 2z prime plus 2 is equal to 26. So what's left is to simplify this equation. So we have 2 times the quantity of v prime plus w prime plus x prime plus y prime plus z prime is equal to 20. 20 being 26 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2, which are the uh, addends in the left hand side of the equation. Dividing both sides by 2, we get v prime plus w prime plus x prime until z prime is equal to 10. Now, since all of them are allowed to be 0, then the number of solutions is readily evaluated using stars and bars. Again, we have 5 variables here and then the right hand side right total is 10. Therefore, the number of solutions is, is 10 plus 5 minus 1 taken 5 minus 1, which is simply 14 taken 4. This value is equal to 1001. Now, is this the answer already? The answer is no. Why? Because initially, we made use of the generality that the four odd integers are v, w, x, and y. But z can be odd as well. In fact, we can have the set w, x, y, z 
to be odd. That is, from the five uh, variables, the number of ways that four of them can be odd is equal to five taken four, which is essentially five. Essentially, that way, if we shift perspective, we are essentially finding the number of ways that one of them can be even, which is, since there are five of them, is equal to five. Therefore, the total number of solutions is 5 taken 4 times 14 taken 4 is equal to 5,005. The factor of 5 taken 4 is important for this one because this accounts for the total number of cases, which we try to generalize in the first part of the solution when we assume that the four odd integers to be w, v, x, and y, when in fact they can be any of the five taken for uh, combinations. So in other, in other problems, this uh, technique also helps. So in the first part of the solution, you can just try to generalize first which of the variables to be odd or even, and then just put on the multiplier at the end of the solution. As a practice, try to answer this problem. How many non-negative solutions are there to the equation x plus 2y plus z is equal to 24? If you are able to solve this problem, leave your comment below and I'll give you a shout out if you are able to do so. So that's it for this video and I hope you learned something. And in the future, we will be releasing more videos about stars and bars. And if you have some request problems, you can let us know by sending the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.